Hello, welcome or welcome back to Divine Me Time. This is Beth, your self-care specialist, and I have for you another restorative yoga practice. Please grab a chair or use the couch or even a wall. We will spend several minutes in a legs up practice. So whatever would be comfortable for you, please come and sit perpendicular to whatever surface you have. And then lean your body back to the ground and swing your legs up to that surface. Readjust yourself as necessary, moving closer or further. And then you might want to cover your feet with a blanket or even your upper body or place a weight on your abdomen. And of course, if you know your self-care tools, whatever you've got, you're welcome to use. So this is a, um, a serving suggestion and you can create your own recipe. Once you arrive, and feel settled. Just begin to focus on the breath. Feel the breath moving in and out through the nose. And the rise of the body with the breath maybe through the belly, maybe just the chest, just noticing. And that gentle fall back as you release the breath. Use that exhalation to connect and receive gravity's pull. and know that whatever is going on in your life or the life of those around you in this moment, you are safe and supported. Notice each little letting go. And if you're holding anything up or back or controlling in any way, see if you can let go and trust.
If you would like, you can start to bring your arms over the head. And it may be just a uh, goal post shape with the elbows bent, or you may have your arms stretched long. However you find yourself, see if you can let the arms relax and let go to the floor. Enjoy that sensation of the torso lengthening, giving more space for the breath. Please extend your arms now straight up to the sky, the ceiling. We're going to make little circles on the shoulder blades. So make sure that your shoulders are connecting back into the body and into the floor as opposed to pulling away from it. And then begin to make little circles in towards the center. And you can gradually expand the size of the circles, focusing on that massage you are receiving from the movement and the floor. And then reverse direction of the circles and start small again, gradually widening the circle. You can go ahead and relax your arms back. If you have anything on your body, you might want to remove it now. Just bring one foot to either the edge of the chair or bend the knee on the wall. The other leg will stay either raised up on the surface or straight if you're at the wall. Just feel the opposition here. One leg bent in, the other side longer. And enjoy any pressure in the middle of the foot. Extending the leg now straight up to the ceiling and holding somewhere behind the thigh. Don't worry about straightening the leg. Don't worry about bringing it closer to the torso. Just extend it upwards and rest your foot on the surface of air above you. And then begin to curl your toes, wiggle your toes. Make circles with your ankle and even Direct your leg with your hands and make circles through the hip joint, like we did with these shoulder circles. 
one direction and then the other. Resting that leg back and we'll take the other one in towards the body. Just feeling the contrast first. Pressing perhaps the sole of the foot onto the edge of the chair or couch if that's available. And then when you're ready, you can extend that leg up towards the ceiling and just grab hold in back of the leg somewhere with the hands. Again, reach for, with the whole surface of the foot, reach for the surface of air above you as if you were standing on the air and then begin to squeeze and wiggle and piano your toes, spreading them apart, curling them together and making ankle movements. And then using your hands to drive the hip in little circles that may gradually get a little bigger. One direction and then the other. And resting that leg back now, taking both knees to the chest, curling up for a moment. You're welcome to rock a little side to side if you feel like it, or just hold still. And we're going to open the knees out to the sides resting the soles of the feet together on the edge of the chair or couch or wall. You may want to use your hands to leverage the knees open a little wider. But then see if you can just surrender to the pose and release any effort. With each breath, let go of any tension in the body Soften the face, the jaw, the neck. And the area around the heart and belly. Using the hands to draw the knees together and then rolling onto your side. Take a moment there. You might want to do a little self hug here.
Just notice the effects of this shift and then push yourself up. We will prepare for our second posture. Go ahead and move uh, any chair out of your way. You might want to move away from the wall so you have more space. And you will need a blanket in a square fold across the top of your mat, a bolster lengthwise on top of that, and then a block at the bottom of your bolster on which you will sit. So come to have your bottom on the block. Hold onto your knees with your feet standing. We're just gonna do a little bit of spinal movement here. So gently looking up and opening the chest through and then exhaling and rounding the spine back. When you're ready, lower yourself all the way down onto the bolster, whatever you have as a substitute. Make sure your whole trunk, including your head, feels supported by that surface. You might need to tuck something under your head so your neck doesn't drop back. And then go ahead and widen the feet apart and then let the knees fall out to the side so that you're kind of on the edges, outside edges of your feet. Extend the arms out to the side and perhaps a little higher than the shoulders. Think of this as a reverse supported frog pose. Breathe and enjoy the sense of support right under your spinal column and the way that your front body can begin to open and drape around that core. Don't hold the legs up. If you can, find a place where you can simply relax them and release them. And if you need to keep them standing instead with perhaps the knees dropped in towards the center, you're welcome to do that. As you are always welcome to make yourself impeccably comfortable. If the opening at the shoulders feels like a little too much for you, you can always use blocks um, to, under the arms to help support the arms or fold blankets or even towels and just place your arms on that for a little more height. Let go and let God.
Let's gently transition now, bringing the knees together. And we'll extend one leg slowly and then the other. We'll remain here for some time. Breathe and relax. Enjoy a sense of stillness. Now, if you would like to, remove anything you have under your head and then gently move the hands as if you were going to interlace them in back of the skull. But instead of doing that, just place the surface of the hands on the sides of the head or perhaps the edges of the top of the bolster. Reach the elbows not only up, but together towards the center of the head and away from the body. And then begin to make little circles through the shoulder, one way and then the other. Feel that length from elbow all the way down to the waist. And then interlacing the arms in back of the head Drawing the legs up one at a time, standing the feet, contract through the front body, raising the head a little and lower, and then roll off to one side or the other, resting for a moment before we come into our final pose. Coming upright, let's move the bolster now to support the knees. You may want to cover your feet here and it can be really nice to wrap the blanket around your legs and that will help keep your feet from rolling out. And then just make little circles on your sit bones in one direction and then the other and move fully aware of the weight through the seat. Now let's tuck the chin to the chest and roll down to the floor. And if you need a little head support, you might want that. Adjust until comfortable and then let go. Let go and rest fully supported. So we'll now play with what are called the Qigong tones. These will help us in our intent to regenerate the body. And we'll begin working with the kidneys. 
So focus on the area of your kidneys, which are just underneath the lower ribs on the back. And as you focus there, you're just going to be making a gentle sound. Shwe. Shwe. And just repeat that for yourself. The kidneys store fear. So you can use your awareness and the sound shui, to help purify and cleanse the kidneys of fear. Notice how the sound feels. Can you sense the kidneys responding? Let's now move our attention to the liver. It's on the right side of the body. And the liver is known to store anger. We're going to use the sound shoo. Shoo. So play around with that and don't think it has to sound a certain way. What we want is to feel resonance with that organ. And so you might tweak it a little bit and find it works better for you. Feel the sound and your awareness helping to break up and dissipate any stored anger. Let's move now to the heart. The sound here is <sighs> and of course the heart is where we store our sadness and despair. So use the sound <sighs> to release any of those heavy energies that are stored there. <sighs> Cleanse and purify your heart. And now we'll move on to the spleen. The spleen is on the left side, towards the back of the body. This is where we store our worry. The sound is whoo, whoo. So use the sound to cleanse the organ of worry. <sighs> and let us move now to the lungs where we store our grief. You can either make the sound or you might prefer a shh. So use the sound to help cleanse your lungs of any grief. And 
finally, we'll work with the triple heater, which is a system, not an organ. It helps uh, the circulation in the body. And this is where we store overwhelm. So the sound here is shh. So go ahead and make that sound for yourself and focus on the sense of energy circulating throughout the body and allow a warmth and a joy to be cultivated with the sound shh. Now just rest quietly for a few moments more, noticing anything you feel that may have shifted or changed. Let's prepare now to return, taking a breath and beginning to move the wrists and fingers, pressing different parts of the body into the floor and tightening muscle groups and then elongating and releasing and taking the knees towards the chest or standing them on the bolster. Allow the knees to fall to one side and curl up. Support your head with your arm or a prop. Take in all of the sensations you feel before pushing yourself to an upright position. Sitting in easy pose or a comfortable seated position to bring our hands to Anjali Mudra. Let's now close this practice with three deep breaths at your own pace. Release any last remnants of stress or tension with each exhalation. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope this has been helpful for you. Please do visit the website divinemetime.com to find out more about me or to work with me one-to-one. -one. Be well, everyone.